all you flight simmers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Microsoft Flight Simulator and back into the Grapes of Wrath Route 66 adventure, uh, where ultimately we're going to, we left from Salisaw, Oklahoma, and we're going to eventually end up in Bakersfield, California. Today is leg three from Wiley Post to Clinton Sherman, that's KP. WA to KCSM and so uh, yeah so once I'm into the cockpit and ready to take off uh, I'll catch back up with you okay I am in the cockpit uh, ready to fly we're going to be flying at uh, 30 uh, 3,000 foot uh, altitude today and we'll continue to increase that altitude as we continue west because we will be starting to get into more some mountainous regions area but right now we're still somewhat over the plains area in Oklahoma uh, so I am just about ready to take off here and as I have in the last couple of legs once I get flying here I'm just gonna let the narration take over and you can enjoy the flight and then uh, I'll uh, as we approach Clinton Sherman, where we're going to land, I will start uh, doing some more narration uh, through the landing. So sit back and enjoy. Southwest and flies over Lake Overhalzer. It was created in 1919 and is the oldest reservoir in Oklahoma City. It is named after Ed Overhalzer, mayor of Oklahoma City in the early 20th century. Its construction was a response to the growing need for water supply for the rapidly expanding city. was founded in 1889 during Oklahoma's famous land run. The name was probably derived from Fort Reno, a nearby military fort named after General Jesse L. Reno, a hero of the American Civil War. The city grew rapidly due to its strategic location along the Rock Island Railroad. El Reno is also known for its location in Tornado Alley. The city has a long history of extreme weather events, including an EF3 tornado that hit the city in 2013. This has made El Reno an important center for meteorological research.
Continue west and fly over Hinton Airport. It is a municipal airport that serves as a major hub for general aviation in the Hinton, Oklahoma region. Weatherford was founded in 1898 during the opening of the Cheyenne Arapaho Territory to settlers. It was named after William Weatherford, an employee of the Choctaw, Oklahoma and Gulf Railroad. One of the highlights that stands out from the sky is the campus of Southwestern Oklahoma State University. A distinctive feature of the landscape is the wind profiler radar, part of the National Weather Observation Network. This facility is a reminder of the importance of meteorology in a region known for its extreme weather events, including tornadoes. Toward the west side of town we can glimpse the Prairie West Golf Club, a public golf course that offers a green oasis in the predominantly brown landscape of the surrounding prairies. Clinton is located in Custer County, founded in 1899, the city grew rapidly due to the arrival of the railroad and the discovery of oil and natural gas in the region. One point of interest that stands out is the Oklahoma Route 66 Museum, located right in the heart of the city. This museum tells the story of the Mother Road and its impact on the development of Oklahoma and the entire country.
Turn left and prepare to land at Clinton Sherman Airport. Okay, we are on the final leg into the airport here. I'm going to be taking over. Let's minimize this. Uh, we've got about 15 nautical miles, but it actually comes up fairly quickly, if I remember correctly. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I'm still fighting a cold, uh, as you can tell. So this was the uh, Wiley Post to Clinton Sherman, uh, KPWA to KCSM, and it was some uh, 80 nautical miles. And so this was the third leg of the Grapes of Wrath Route 66 adventure. And uh, it's by uh, Perfect Flight. I think I uh, forgot to mention that at the start. So uh, it uh, has been interesting. Uh, I guess the struggle I had in the beginning was knowing that I had to start the aircraft and then actually turn it off to do the actual leg uh, completion of the leg uh, which all of the other perfect flight adventures that I have flown uh, all you had to do was just land and get stopped so that was kind of a uh, surprise to me when I was trying to figure out why it wouldn't complete the leg because there was always uh, a lot of other bugs in the beginning with the uh, bush trips that was causing uh, legs not to complete and stuff like that. So I was a bit confused in getting that started. Uh, let's see. We are now about 10 kilometers out. And I am going to take over here pretty soon. The airport's going to be off and over in this direction. And so I will need to take over to get lined up with it. I think if we look at here, let's uh, get to where we're heading. Which should be right here. We're coming in on this line right here. And if we expand this out, uh, you can kind of see that it's having us come kind of to the middle of the airport. So, uh, and then you'll clearly see these parking areas and stuff when we uh, come in for our landing. So let me go ahead and start uh, taking over here. We'll turn that off, turn the nav off, turn that off. And then I am going to start swinging out this away. And that should be our airport right straight up there in the uh, distance. So if we swing out to our right, we should be able to get lined up with the airport. And we could start uh, coming down in elevation just a little bit. Right. And as you can see on our Garmin, we have uh, deviated off of our flight path, but we will be swinging back around to land on the airport or land at the airport. Okay, we're about uh, 26, 2,500 foot uh, altitude right now. And I think uh, if we just slowly start swinging around here and let's start leveling off just a little bit. That is our airport just to the left right there. And you can see that one pattern of parking areas. 
as we get a little closer here. All right, let's put a flap down. And we're swinging around just a little bit more. be coming in just a little steep but I but we're okay in the uh, 208 we can do that it's designed for really short uh, landings and takeoffs and there we are we're on the ground and let's get this slowed down and we should have a taxiway up here pretty quick. I see it coming up. All right, let's see if we can get this thing over and into the parking area. I don't think it really matters as far as where we shut down at with the uh, leg itself. Because it started me on the active runway, but it was uh, from a cold start. So. so I think if we pull in right about here, ought to work just fine. And there we go, coming to a stop. Let's set our parking brake. All right, let's see if we can get this thing turned off so that we can complete our leg. Let's do that. And then we just start flipping off some of these switches. Oop. Off. 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 Uh, flip those off. Flip that off. There we go. Leg completed. 38 minutes, which is about right. And uh, if we click on the next, uh, we can see that uh, it was from KPWA to KCSM. All right. That is the third leg of the Grapes of Wrath Route 66 adventure, and it's by Perfect Flight. Okay, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really does help out the video a lot. And please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. Okay, all you uh, sim pilots out there, keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.